in Sausalito, they have a terminology called being an anchor out as opposed to living in a harbor. And a number of people have chosen to become anchor outs or been forced into becoming anchor outs. And a lot of people just love it. I, I do. I can afford to keep myself in the Bay Area. These are my two boats here. This is the one I live on. If you're anchored out here, it's free. Some people out here would be homeless on the street. A lot of people would be out here no matter what. It's just that they love it. Yeah, Greg's been out here a long time. Hey! My name is Greg Baker and I'm 78 years old and I've lived out here off and on for about 50 years. Uh, down below there was a picture of an old guy. That's my great great grandfather and he was a sea captain and we have the same hairdo. <laughs> when you're living out here it changes from day to day. Uh, you may have to uh, go ashore to get water or groceries or uh, you may just want to go for a little boat ride. I'll tear the cover up. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> Day to day, you've got to check everything, that, uh, how it's tied up, and uh, make sure that everything looks right. You know, you can anchor almost anywhere. But we're at the point where we've got almost too many boats out here. And so, don't come running down here to anchor your boat. <laughs> There's a lot of discussion about the anchor outs and whether they have a legal right to be here or not. I don't think it's a gray area, but some people do. Some people think it's not acceptable at all. But it's always been an anchorage, and there's always been people out here living on boats, so when we're working on all the, the angles to get it right and get it legal. Sausalito has always had an aura and a reality of uh, accepting unusual artistic existences here, and most of that's gone away. There, very little left, but it still has a flavor here that Sausalito likes to brag about and people on the hill like to brag about. And I, I like that. I think the anchor outs are a good part of that.